headphones, folks. That's it's the Colin Terrell Podcast, live from Skankfest. A real shit show of an episode, straight away. Yeah. Before we even started, we got I mean, Dave not, Temple. What's happening, buddy? We got Dave Temple. T- t- give, him, give him your socials. I'm Dave Temple on all social media platforms, where it really matters. Just at Dave Temple across the... Yeah, yeah. Do you think people can spell them. Temple? Temple? Yeah, that's Jews fine. can. Jews oh. can. I, I yeah. can confirm. <laughs> and they're already controlling the media. Why would they follow you? What are you doing? The Jews are good at spelling things, I believe, right? Mm, some of and them. And Indians. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all they, right. They, they, all right. No, that's true. They do kill Mike, the spelling Mike, bee. Mike, I don't know what type of podcast you think this is, but, <laughs> but we saved the stereotypes. There's a section. Yeah, there's a for the Patreon. Of, there's a segment. This called, is called Women Crashing. No. There's a, there's a, <laughs> is that the segment? <laughs> Close. <laughs> it's Asian women crashing, but that's not your problem. That's not your fault. I, know. <laughs> I say that when I see someone do a, a terrible maneuver in the street, like with a vehicle, I literally out loud, I go, that's the most Asian thing I've seen. All yeah. Time. <laughs> you go, woman or Asian, woman or Asian. And then you show up and you go, oh. Yeah. It feels drunk, good when you're right. Drunk if, white man. Yeah. And you feel bad when you're wrong. Yeah. Oh, we but got Danny, right Danny Polish. Chuck. Yo. Shout out. Give him the socials. Give him uh, the Danny jokes. Danny jokes across. Tell you to know. Yeah, and check out his live podcast. Yeah. Very similar to this, just a real. <laughs> it's not similar to this at all. It's, uh, I mean, it's literally, it's I have nice. people calling. Yeah. Hey, well, first off, it's actually live. This is not, yeah, this this is is not live. live. What, what, you said this was live. What We're all live. There's three people. But this people is in actually I don't know what pre-recorded. Are we, are we not experiencing this live? Sure. But this is, people are not watching this live, which I think but when it's someone recorded, references a live. It's recorded live. All right. What is not recorded live? What is recorded not live? AI. Uh, yeah, acting. Acting is like. Well, like, isn't no? Isn't a movie theater yeah. necrophilia? Yeah. Yeah, that okay. is recorded dead. I guess. <laughs> I get that. Mike, yeah. Mike just is coming loaded today. <laughs> Mike, Mike's got a back pocket full of answers right now. <laughs> You're a cheeky little one. Mike Eaton, everybody. Hello, Austin comic. Hello, just live for, crowd. Just open for me in Houston. Yeah, that was a good time. We had a good time, dude. We yeah. had a great time we had Sunday a lot of morning. Food. Oh, we went to Joel Osteen. Oh, yeah. Oh, you went to that, they too? Go, he was telling me all about that. The enemy is outnumbered. <laughs> Shout out to Joel. I Joel. Yeah. Dude, first of all, you walk into a stadium. There's no security at all. They're, like, at all. they're like begging you to come yeah. in. <laughs> if, they turn a, uh, if they turn a basketball stadium into a church, they... Yeah. they there's no security. There's none. They're just like, come on. Is it full though? And you're so, like, no. You got your guns and shit. No. 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 Wait, Joe Olstein shit's not popping. It's 7,500. We had like 1,800, right? Oh. It's still not bad. I don't know. I'm not good at guessing numbers, but I would have said. Well, you were busy being caught up by the yeah. Holy Spirit. Dude, I was fucking Holy yeah. Ghost. I thought we were going to choke. Get, yeah. And he's got it. The enemy is outnumbered. Don't no, you no, hate no. that when no one tells was, you they do that? I hate when you go to church and no one tells you they're into that nut shit. I got shit. high shit. I, I thought w- we were going for a giggle. I didn't go. As, no, I went to experience it like the zoo or something. <laughs> I didn't go as a gig. I wasn't like just like this is retarded. But also, I, I, I'm not going to go to the show and then just be like, hmm, I'm not doing the prayers. I'm, I'm, not, I'm getting into it. I'm fucking. <laughs> the enemy is outnumbered. What's the point of going if you don't sing the fucking. What's, you're wait. right. No, Colin is right on that. Yeah. that. That is a good yeah. aspect. Well, if you, went, if I, you went, went to a Jewish right. wedding and then you refused to pick up the fucking yeah. the chair, when they go? Nah, I was just nah, doing that last weekend. Nah, 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 was, nah. Uh, was yeah, that last weekend doing the chair. What's that about? The, the what is that? Is that just a dance move or is that like a. What is it about? I don't know like what the reason they do it. There's f- probably some but it bullshit is, it is, reason. Yeah, though. for it's sure. It's not just a dance. It's not just a That's how you ass. get the change out of their pockets. You go like, you <laughs> shake the chair. There's always a method. I gave him 200, but I got, I got <laughs> 57 cents back. I'm going to get mine back. <laughs> the fact that... Put change, pocket change on your wedding day yeah, is yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Also, the <laughs> fact that you broke a bill and put the change in your tuxedo <laughs> your pocket. pocket. <laughs> her bride, yeah. she handed the five and waited for the, <laughs> stuck it in her bra. Do you think that the Joel Osteen thing, uh, do they have sellouts though? Like what's the biggest day for something oh, yeah, like that? Sure. They, they do. Like they don't do it on Christmas. Oh, oh absolutely. Christmas I think they do it on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On Christmas. Oh, he's going to be with his family like an idiot? <laughs> no. Or do you know he, how much 10% of 7,500 yeah. people's money oh, is? Yeah, is he going? 
would he spend time with his family or would he make 80% of the charity yeah. donation? His family's probably What's just backstage. They probably have like a it's, replica of his home yeah. Yeah. in the green room. So it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. He was way too big. His wife, his wife was there. She's also just fucking plastic. The two yeah. of them are just like machines. Like they're, they are AI, yeah. Robocop, yeah. Yeah. fucking the Terminator. Hot but as fuck. They're both very... Is she good looking? I don't know if hot is the no, they're, they're both, almost they're both just perfect. Genderless. Though. They're like robots almost. They're like perfectly stretched well, yeah, out faces. Yeah, because when you when you're selling the Lord, you gotta make sure you're not selling sex ye, in any way, no, shape, or form, no. man. One of my no, favorite he looks like a handsome dentist. It's one, awesome. One of my favorite things was the uh they didn't talk about the devil. They didn't mention the devil. They they call it your enemy. Yeah. No. Which is just like they go, look, anything bad in your life, that's the enemy. But don't forget, the enemy is outnumbered. And I was just like, But they fuck. never reference the devil at no, all? No, not even once. So no. is it like so that people It felt like, like Voldemort. Like, they were scared to say is it. Is it so, like, honestly, <laughs> like, the enemy that's can the be... the enemy. Wait, you're taking a <laughs> call right now? Why does this keep you coming up in my life that. right now? That you're... <laughs> <laughs> You making a Voldemort like, reference. I've I recently know, tried to watch like all the Harry Potters. Like I watched two yeah, Harry Potters sad. on my flight out here uh -huh. trying to get acclimated with this shit. Someone. It wasn't my <laughs> thing. I didn't know anything about it. I, this is for I know, sure. Like when this is host, ADD on max. This is like for level. sure. Put 45, put, I mean, put 45 fucking, on red. Thank God this is alive. Put, put 45 dollars on red. All right. Okay. <laughs> So you watched Harry Potter. Sorry, I got, I got to get yeah, my bets in. I got to yeah. get my bets in, dude. Sorry about that. Because I, I, I wasn't into that as a kid, and I didn't know anything about it, so I started Harry watching Potter? them. Yeah, yeah. Never read Harry Potter's? No, I never read them, no. Me How either. do you feel about the word muggle? I get it. <laughs> Muggle. Filthy, you filthy, Muggle to you, you wizard folks. Filthy little muggle. You like, white oh, wizard motherfucker. Yeah. It's Muggle. It's kind of fun. You get one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mud bloods, yeah. What's up, my Muggle? <laughs> <laughs> what's is, the other one that, oh trolls is another thing that they mud get away blood, with mudbloods yeah all the Jews run the banks in that yeah. yeah but they call them trolls which is mm -hmm. wild mm. yeah nice. look I've never seen you, gotta, you gotta you've never seen it maybe I've seen one of the Harry Potters I don't think so though I like I was just, I'm, I've never been in a like fan, I guess it would be fantasy is that the Genre? No, kids. Is Even that? though the shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. You're not into kids? That's crazy. <laughs> I, I thought, that, I thought that'd sure. be the what genre is. Is. Hey, I've been writing these books. What genre is it? Kids? Yeah. 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 Is, it, is, it, is it technically? Because like Lord of the Rings, I have, I've seen the Lord, some of the Lord of the Rings. I read one of them actually, but that's fan fantasy. Was it fantasy, sci-fi? That's fantasy. Know. I think Lord of the Rings. I assume that Harry Potter was the same. I think no, it's kids. it's kids. I think it's kids, just yeah. everybody. Kids who, isn't a, a uh, only reason why yeah. adults go to see it is because they got into it when they were kids. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah I'm probably yeah. the only one the getting into it. My, my niece is like she's eight and she's like insanely into Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, like, she loves it. Even yeah, but that's the same with like most. The, shit. I think most the category is young adult fiction. You got, huh? I think they call it young adult fiction. It's a whole like subsect. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantasy for young adults. Yeah. Yeah. But fantasy is the thing. Yeah. Only thing but the young adults is just as important. No, I don't If you know. give that to old adults, they're going to be like, this is gay. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. If you give it to a young adult, they're like, oh my God, Well, that's just own. to make kids not feel like pussies. Yeah. Call I, them young adults. I, I read the books when I was 15 and, and younger and Pussy. older. But, well, that's yeah. when you learn to read. So it's. You know. <laughs> well, David will finish a book someday and he'll be able to tell us about his fucking journey. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you fucking. You tell us that the fucking blacks are the original Israelites. Whatever. Oh, what yeah. book are you Those reading? Those guys are the best. Uh -huh. What book are you reading? I just finished reading uh, Forrest Gump. The oh. novel, oh my it's God. good, huh? It's I, amazing. Dude, and, hey, there's a second one. <laughs> I just finished that one dude, too. Dude, I read Coke. that. Yeah, dude, it is dude, it's like, amazing. He invents the that new Coke. Or yeah, whatever, he invents new Coke. He fucking captures Saddam Hussein. Like it's wild. The second Forrest Gump. The second Forrest Gump, man. You're probably the only person sass, I've ever sass. met in my life yeah. that read. Does Forrest Jenny Gump's die of too, AIDS? Right? What? Uh, yeah. She dies. Of, she dies of hepatitis C in the book. But like. It's like it's. I just recently found. It. I just read this book like a week and a half ago. Oh, like, crazy! I, I, you I just read Virus Gump, the original. No, like, this is, yeah, they made yeah. a sequel. Book. I read the original, what? but there's also a sequel called Gump and Co. Jenny's there, <laughs> and, yeah. Like, it, but and Forrest is raising the kid, you know, and wow. like, yo, dude, in the book, Does fucking it? Forrest runs for U.S. Senate. Like, he gets that yeah. far in the world, and he gets and canceled. He gets, didn't he, like, start, like, Apple, or, like, there's something where he's, like, he starts, like, uh, or IBM, or, like... He started Apple the in the movie, in the first one. Right. Yeah. So the 
movie, there was like, here's yeah, the thing. The movie, goes, they, and then I invested in an orchard they, company they movie and first, gets a blue right? eye. No, 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 no. The book was written. The book was written. <sighs> oh, like, was it? Well, like back in like '86 or something. Oh, okay. Like that. I thought the book came. It was but, one of those things where they made the movie and then they no, wrote the book after. They actually made the movie so different Coke, from the book Coke, because Coke, <laughs> Coke, you Coke, can't, Coke, Coke. <laughs> you can't fucking uh, make far as who he is in the book. Yeah, like Tom Hanks is a good looking man, right? You know, in the book though, Forrest is like six, is he, seven. Is Tom 200. Hanks a good looking man? He's not the mongoloid that Forrest. He looks like he drowned three yeah. weeks ago. I just was. Um, I followed Tom his, Hanks is not hot. Find one woman that thinks Tom Hanks was supposed to fight. Who, uh, has Tom Hanks is like podcast, like this prison podcast, and for some reason he had Chevy Chase on it. Yeah, like this week, and uh, what up, man? And he, apparently sad, Chevy so Chase says that he turned down Forrest Gump. Uh, yeah, but Chevy oh, yeah. Chase is wait, wait, retarded. Whoa, 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 fellas. Be, be fucking nice and we have a gentleman who just arrived. Hello. We got Hack, How's it going? Little Harry Sasquatch. Hey, yes. Harry. Welcome. Hello. How are we doing? We got squeeze it. Well, it's all right. Yeah. People don't really so care that much. We need sorry. Harry's facial expressions. We just roll, it, roll yeah. Yeah. expressions. Can I have one of those beers? No. Now yeah. show the face when they're empty. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Yes, you I, can. I don't feel good about it, but you know. <laughs> I asked line. you if I no, should bring beer no, and you didn't say anything. There's, there's but much the, up here. There's supposed to be some out there. Oh. So yeah. last night um, during my Is show. Is that you? <laughs> 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 that water. Sorry. That's not sorry. Just just continue to tell the people at home about, yeah, about someone, someone behind the camera. camera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they get it now. <laughs> they, they I'm a genius. <laughs> See how we all laugh. Just so you know, guys, if you're watching, she doesn't look like that. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> but last night, Harry Harry got very drunk, and I I, I feel bad about this. But Harry did my show. Oh, I don't he, feel don't feel bad. It was he hilarious. Was, he was showing glow sticks at the audience at the very end. At the end, yeah. the big crescendo, and. Uh, I was just on stage and just in a, in a fit of like fuck it. I just pulled his fucking pants down and exposed his penis. Oh, you, they you, came you, all the way you down. Got, you got legit pants. No? Yeah, I yeah. didn't mean to. I, I meant to just pull down the what shorts. It was what shocking how easily I meant to just pull down, down the shorts. And I thought it'd be like the funniest thing of all time because uh -huh. he was like he had his hand full of glow sticks and he was like throwing them at the crowd. He's like, let's yeah. go fucking go, dude. You were amped. Yeah, yeah, I was excited. And then next thing I know, I'm just fully naked. Yeah, the, the <laughs> funny thing, the, the, the best thing. Was you, your dick also amped or was it like scared <laughs> for battle? It was. Uh, no one's dick is ever. It was smaller. <laughs> Someone said it was flopping around. No, it? dude, it was my dick was inside of my body. Yeah, I'm not, I was on stage. There's no, I'm not you, like half hard. Harry Sass Harry was fucking. No, <laughs> Sass, was, <laughs> Sass was wasted, man. And then the way you described it was like you didn't even realize that your pants were down. You said the temperature yeah. around your balls changed. Yeah, it just got cold. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like glowing, throwing glow sticks at the crowd, and then next thing you know, a breeze came across his balls. <laughs> and he goes, "What the fuck?" He looked down, and I couldn't believe because I pulled them down. And next thing you know, I saw your little tiny oh, yeah. white ass <laughs> in my face. Like, oh. <laughs> All time, yeah. man. one of the best shows of all time, Midnight Circus. That was a great show, man. I came in and sat in and caught on that, and I could see you were getting frustrated with everyone throwing the fucking glow sticks. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't getting frustrated, but I was like, there was a part of me that was like, this show needs to go on for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like everyone was just like throwing glow sticks at each other, like going fucking hard, launching them at people's heads. Yeah. Was, like, yeah. The first, was there like one person that threw them first, or did like Tommy throw one first? Like so what happened was, so I came out, <laughs> I opened the show, someone like threw one like onto the stage, like almost politely. So we have all these glow sticks that are hanging around people's necks, but they're not like thin, like no, they're straws. they're like the thick ones. They're the like heavy, ones. yeah. They're almost like the shape of a fucking iPhone, and they're hanging up, and then someone lobs one onto the stage, so I threw it back, and then that, turned into like a fucking fighting thing. So then, but I had to like calm it down. I'm, I'm the host, so I was like, chill out, chill out, relax. And I got everyone like chilled out. And then I was like, Tommy Pope's about to come on for the first segment. Tommy came out, he just like picked one off the ground and just fucking yeah. launched it. I mean, like launched, the guy has an arm. Yeah. And then it turned into fucking war. Oh. It was all at war, just yeah, people yeah, launching. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I got pinged in the head. I got bruised on my forehead. <laughs> yeah. huh. Can you see it? I, yeah. Someone fucking knocked. And that was a light one. I think Tommy fucking gave someone brain damage. Dude. Yeah, because saw one. there was one he hit the wall and you dude, heard the thump. Oh, dude, there was one before that. It went just above that and there was a guy sitting there and I could see it. The only face you could see in the crowd was like a guy behind the light and it just fucking pinged <laughs> off his head. I mean, it <laughs> rocked him, dude. It fucking rocked him. And, he didn't, and then he didn't react and me and Tommy were killed. <laughs> and Tommy's just throwing shit and I'm like, Calm down, sit yeah. down. And Tommy's going, this is the greatest show I've ever been a part of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, holy shit. It was fun. It was packed, too. Yeah, it was fun. It's what crazy. Was it? it was in the sheet. 
Sheath, Sheath room. Sheath. Midnight Circus. Sheath. Every show is different. Here, look, here's the thing. I don't know how good it was, but it was definitely memorable. <laughs> it was yeah. definitely an yeah. entertaining, memorable. I think it was great. Yeah. Sam Talent that, killed. Pants. Sam Talent yeah. just kills all the time. And then you got pants, showed off your big long dick. I saw yeah. Ari take someone's glasses and put them on his dick and oh, then put it back on the guy's face. That was Ari's <laughs> trick. Yeah. Ari came up and told a story. That was during the show? Yeah. 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 Took out. <laughs> he yeah, asked and he, the guy. He had, he, Ari had, has moves like party tricks that he does with his dick like puppetry of the penis yes yeah. yeah, so he has like four different things that he does he goes yeah. this is called the snail trail and then he like pulls his dick across his balls and it used like to be like snail. remember that puppetry of the penis thing with those two guys <laughs> i've like, heard of it i don't know what it was they like do. these two australian dudes and they were like it was, i don't know if it was on broadway but it was like that <laughs> kind of thing where like and they would all be them just doing weird shit with their dick and they'd be like this is like the rose and then they like they turn around and they come back and they're like, "What would your trick be?" <laughs> I can't get hard. <laughs> this is uh, this has never. Drank too much I whiskey. swear this has never happened before. <laughs> I jerked off a little late today. And I thought this wasn't going to happen, so I rubbed one out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I, I'm <laughs> the classic. Yeah. Rub one out. I'm on my way. Damn I'm glad it. I Damn shaved it. my balls. Damn it. Huh? So I'm glad I shaved. Because I didn't shave for a good like four months, oh, and then I shaved no, last Bush week. That would have been, been crazy. No, Bush is like natural protection. That would have been jarring. No, 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 no dick. <laughs> you don't think? I Just would rather black have the everywhere. Bush. I would rather have the biggest bush of all time, and then just a tiny little fucking. It would have been hilarious if I was fresh off a shave. Yeah. <laughs> just baby boy balls. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit of like a red, like fucking. Yeah, yeah, razor burn. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Insert manscape read here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Danny showed a video. Danny, see this video? Danny just showed me of the, the YouTuber getting shot. You remember the YouTuber that got yeah, shot in the food court? Like, uh, f it was like six months ago. No. Basically, this dude was doing a prank. I mean, try to show them. <laughs> a prank is a generous. Yeah, should I show them? Well, so he's no, it was. It's, he was oh, like here annoying we go. some guy. He's right just being an no, asshole. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like my, it's like. Why can't I? Like I mean, this is that. definitely not good podcast content. No, but I don't know. Are you why. kidding me? A guy getting shot on the street oh, is here the best. So this guy just like approaches his DoorDash driver. So pretty much, the, he's one of these YouTube pranks. But he's just dude six five, and so he's like kind of like, and he won't leave this guy randomly alone for. And the guy just pulls out a gun and shoots him. I love the way he the, shoots him though. Shoots him in the he stomach. Also, yeah, it, it, he's it, so chill about. It. He's like, he, well, he's just like <laughs> the guy won't leave. Him. Anyways, it was like, a, like yeah. an assassin in a James Bond movie. Yeah. He's like holding his DoorDash meal. And it he literally just pulls looks like out. fucking. It yeah. wasn't like, dude, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't. No, fuck it looks out. like Jack it, Ruby getting Lee Harvey Oswald. It was a real fucking. Like literally, yeah, yeah. like looks out. He's just like, yeah, yeah, like old school. Yeah, he's just like from the hip, you know. He's from like flasher jacket. But anyways, he got today. Like, uh, I'll grab. Yeah, I'll grab. He got, he got acquitted of uh, Coke. on self-defense. Yeah, man. Yeah, which is pretty crazy. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they said the annoying cunt defense. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, David, uh, yeah. The guy didn't really threaten him. He was just playing some weird like voice thing on his phone that was saying something weird. And then he was just like in his face playing. And the guy's like, what the fuck? And then he just kept getting in the guy's face. But like, he wasn't like really physically. I'm surprised no. it doesn't happen more. Yeah, yeah. I think if I had a gun, no. I would be blasting those guys of all the course. time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be so fun. Yeah, the man on the street, people and come up to you in Washington <laughs> Square Park, <laughs> David, shoot Billy. them in the head. <laughs> yeah. David for a living. How many people have you shot? <laughs> <laughs> you shot two people? <laughs> have you really? Nah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, That's so, so funny. funny. I, know, I wanted I, to go um, shooting here. You can shoot like fucking yeah, RPGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machine guns are fun. Yeah, I saw there was that. Someone posted that billboard that was like. Shoot a fifty cal for twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think I want to shoot for that like though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she walked right through it. Dude, she's, she's, I was in uh, Cambodia. You could shoot a cow with a rocket launcher for yeah. like six hundred bucks. Yeah. Why are you giving? Them? I do. A guy that I work with did that. He said it was pretty depressing. Yeah, oh, but it's like I don't think like, the cow you, like you explodes. Yeah. Oh, the thing I wanted happen. What are you fucking talking about? As far as I understood, though, the cows are like pretty downrange. So it's like, yeah, like you got to be like. You gotta have a good you, eye. You would have had to have shot a rocket launcher before. Oh, I think. They, they, how bad would you feel missing? They count. They, they count. <laughs> I, I mean, you're know, like a sociopath. Oh, if you want to go bad. shoot a rocket launcher at a cow in a third world country, dude. Yeah, why don't no, I, I just like? Do it in a first I think world you just want to see it explode too. Like you want to see. Oh, why I not would, just shoot it at a wall or something? I would feel bad. The cool part isn't killing the cow. Yeah, it's just the bomb that explodes. Yeah, well, you could the same place. I think it was in Cambodia. So you said it would just be just as enjoyable to shoot a dead cow. 
and watch no. the dead. No, no, I think you, I just want to see the explosion of the of the <laughs> rocket. Okay. Yeah, you just want to see. Oh, yeah. no. you know, I think the cool part would just be yeah, just shoot a wall. Same, yeah. It would nah, have the same I, purpose I, for me. I, I, think I wouldn't be walking you know away being like, to damn. Build a new wall? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's there's true. A, there's a couple <laughs> of what, things. you love immigrants? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd be walking be... away being like, damn, does it, that finally scratched my itch. There's a couple, there's a couple of things. Of there's a couple a of cow. things here. There's a couple of things here. First of all, ending a life it feels incredible. <laughs> yeah, I, I would not feel good about it. Ending any life, cockroach? I do understand oh! that. Power. Imagine a cow. I will say I the went shooting once. The feeling when you kill a cockroach, yeah, a hundred times with a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went I shooting once and I shot a like an AR-15, and the whole time I was just like, I wish this fucking, I wish this target had a nervous system. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. This is a I remember, like a like a, like a uh, remember what was it Apocalypto where they like they let them lo loose and they all fucking oh yeah uh, they got hung shot them. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. what you want. You go run as fast as you can and then they all just shoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah blowing that's up exactly a human, what you want. Blowing up a human might be the best feeling. You see survive. Yeah, especially like no, in that cow, guy's situation uh, where the opportunity the human. opportunity presented itself no. in a very small window and he took it. Yeah. Like, do you know how good that guy probably feels? Like, well, he's been Fuck. locked up since that happened. It's probably like, worth it, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, he's probably, been, like, worth probably it. like locked up in a fucking jail. Yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse is probably going around bragging like crazy. Oh, he's for sure. He is yeah. fingering yeah. Yeah. fat Republicans left oh, and center. He is Last time he last time I checked, he was dating like a fucking some porn star. star. No, he's, getting, he's getting some, some pretty, of course. pretty decent. Of course. No, he's like the island boys, boys dude. With, yeah. like he had his hit. He had his hit. <laughs> Rittenhouse yeah. is just the island boys. Actually, you know, he's doing cameo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually, that would not surprise me at all if he was on cameo. I would buy I that well, he's he's sure on Go get a job somewhere. Yeah. 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 Sure Could you on, imagine yeah. a better way to hit on a girl? They'd be like, I'm here to shoot my shot. This yeah. is Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you've heard, but I'm a pretty good shot. <laughs> You might recognize me from the news. Yeah. <laughs> you might recognize me as like the most famous man for a short time. Yeah. I'm not a punter in the Pac-10. I'm Kyle Rittenhouse. Dude, the lamest shit was when the, when he was going on all those like Republican podcasts and they were like, Kyle, tell us about all the pussy you're getting. And he was like talking and it's like grown men. And they're like, no way. Yeah. Get to an 18 year old. <laughs> yeah. He's like kicking. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm getting some DMs. Yeah. And then Ben Shapiro going, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Make, sure you, make sure you save yourself to marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Anything but anal is sin. Yeah. I actually respect um, Ben Shapiro for like the way he held out till marriage. Yeah, <laughs> like everyone was like picking on him. I, don't, I doubt like, he had much of a choice. He's kind of a fucking no, loser. No, no, he's a cool ass little Jew. Dude. I can't imagine pussy was being thrown at him at a young age. I should, no. I should, no. He's like no. young Sheldon. He's like white. Oh, he you definitely don't. like wore a suit and like had like yeah, a yeah, yeah, backpack sure. in high school. Oh no, a suit yeah. briefcase. <laughs> dude, I went to uh, no, I went to this. Yeah. Um, I went to Hebrew school when I was a kid, and there was this one family, and they there. I can't remember what their name was, but there was like eight of them. They were like very religious, so they had tons of kids, and they all wore suits. And briefcases, oh, like yeah. when they were like, I'm talking about like an yeah. eight year old, yeah. Yeah. yeah, suit and briefcase. Yeah. My mom yeah. tried to do that shit. Like my, I don't know what made her. Like I was going to public school. <laughs> she a brief, definitely a briefcase is uh, not no, bro, even loser, up folks. until first grade. She was sending me. <laughs> With shoes and a shirt and tie, and it was like so unnecessary. Yeah, I got into so lot. many fucking fights. Oh, God. But like a briefcase so is not aggressive. even practical for like a kid. To yeah, have no. for your, like books and stuff. No. I thought it was weird when kids started leaning into that shit at like middle school. Yeah, yeah. But, like you, you proudly brought in the book bag with the wheels. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Say no. <laughs> the wheels are crazy. It is honestly probably ideal though. Oh yeah, it's it definitely break down for you. Except for the most efficient back. thing, yeah. 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 you don't look like a dickhead. For sure, yeah. I just, Everything <laughs> in life is like that. Dude, I just you got one eight Crux. I just recently switched to a uh, suitcase with the wheels that you oh, can man. actually just roll it around the airport. Oh yeah. As opposed to just cabin and the duffel oh, bag amazing. like fucking you Rambo. Carrying shit for how long? I used long? to just be like a Rambo for years. Just like put a fucking bag. I only had one bag. Yeah, the duffel bag. I still don't have a suitcase. I still use a duffel bag. See, it takes a while to get into it. No one taught me. It's also yeah. easy because you no, don't have to ever worry about the overhead films stories. And huh? TV and such. No, the movies no. I was watching, those motherfuckers just had a bag and they yeah. would just throw it on a bus or on a plane wherever the fuck they got to go. Oh, no. It yeah. does kind of feel like when I'm at the airport with a duffel bag, I feel like it's like my go bag. You feel a little cooler? I feel like it's like Sorry, my, folks. I'm like escaping from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you one-handed over the shoulder? Like, the like I used to look at yeah. dudes are with one handed no, over the shoulder? No, 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 no. Just, yeah, with the duffel. Just dude. over the one shoulder. Handed, that's, a, that's a fucking cooler. Right. The army sort of. That looks like a man. I used to look at the guy. That looks like a man. 
Elvis dude, person. Now it's, the yeah, guy rolling his suitcase with the, the nut, neck the thing, man. he just seems soft to me. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about either, Colin. That, You've never the, seen someone carry a duffel over the shoulder? Over the shoulder. No, Rambo fucking duffel over the shoulder, dude. That's the fucking love. This is like a way that like a gay person would hold or something. Because you don't see the bag. Yeah. You don't see the bag. Right. Yeah, you can't yeah. see the bag. Bending the wrist this off. This is like a gay guy to tell a story, sure. But a yeah. real man just carries his duff over the shoulder. Yeah, picture like one of those those green military bags. Okay, you know, yeah, just yeah, yeah, over yeah, the shoulder yeah. and then yeah. the hands like this. Yeah. And then you're showing off your big fucking bicep. Yeah, yeah. The guns that's cool as shit, dude. That's cool as fucking shit. Yeah. Do you yeah. think Ben Shapiro was ever getting bullied and then he yes. was like trying to like convince the bullies like, no, this is stupid. Probably, like him yeah. getting bullied is stupid. Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's, they're like, you're a little dork. Nah, <laughs> actually, the definition of dork means that someone who yeah, does really well. In the yeah, and then he gets like, fucking shoved penis. in a locker. <laughs> yeah, he's that's, I mean, we try and like logic your way out of getting bullied. Yeah, you're getting beat up. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's cool. He never shot up a school though. He's like prime target, right? Jews don't shoot. Jews don't shoot up schools. Jews, do I do I nuts? Don't, I, don't, I don't think they, that's uh, They could. They own the schools. They're making money. <laughs> they're, the, they're the administrators. Yeah. They, own, they organize. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there must be a Jewish school shooter somewhere. I remember once I, w I watched Joe Rogan, and he was with, remember Milo? You know, Milo, 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 Milo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember watching that and whatever. But then whatever my YouTube algorithm just changed to, like, all of the biggest like dark web retards of all yeah, time. Like all the so incel it was like everything, incel content, everything what that was recommended. Everything that was recommended was always just like Ben Shapiro destroys person who believes in love. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> What's well, always been destroying? And she's like, I believe in love. He's like, No, you're wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So love is not a real thing. Like you're an idiot. Fifteen year old. Yeah. 14 year old girl who believes in world peace destroyed by Ben Shapiro. There's always the, there's always those videos now of him like at like school speaking and then there's like one kid who's like I'm going to be the one that takes him down. Just some little and fucking... then he just destroys <laughs> that. That's, yeah, but that's that's, that's got to most... suck for them so bad. Yeah, I was I, I was thinking about it and I'm like Hey, it kind of sucks, but like he's definitely gonna win. <laughs> yeah, like they yeah, walk up yeah. Yeah. so he's had it, it, It's literally like it's the like equivalent of heckling. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's ben the equivalent of like destroys. someone murdering on stage, and then one dude's yeah. just like, "You suck." Yeah, yeah. And, and then the person like, is, no, is yeah, but also it's like that person is fourteen. Yeah, that's also, true. It's it's just like and there's probably fourteen-year-olds that do bury him in an argument, and he's like, "Don't let's not post that." Cut, 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 cut. Yeah, I saw yeah. a video the other day of a of a dude going to like open mics in New York and just like terrorizing the comedians. <laughs> oh, I like that. And I, I actually cool. like it was. I felt I, if I was there, oh, I would have killed them? myself. Yeah. Oh dude. wow. And then like going up, it's all just I thought him you and his like friends. Like a comedian was going up and then just like fucking no, while on no. stage. There was just this like dude who was hammered in the crowd, just, just being like, "You guys all mic? fucking suck." Yeah. Open mics are the first of all. And all the, the and all the open micers are like, "I'd like to see you try this." And then he goes up and just like murders because he's one of his friends. <laughs> he's got ten friends there, and they're John all like, they're like, "He's the best." So John, cool, John Mulaney's dude. back on the fucking <laughs> bottle, is he? <laughs> just talking shit. You got Steve Hobson. That's good that he showed improved that way, though. What's What's that? That? I'm glad that he showed improved. They told him to get up there, and he went up there. Oh you know? yeah, most people wouldn't do that in front of him. Yeah, well, yeah, that's shit. shit. I mean, did you imagine going to an open mic and there's just some kid in the crowd just fucking? Did you guys hear about this fucking couple? They used to go to the cellar and they would sit in the front row and they would not, they would both be stone, stone faced for the entire show. Yeah, you told me about this. So, so, there's, so there's this couple, they would go, they would only go to McDougal Street and they would get there as early as they could and they would sit literally epicenter front row, fucking right there. And the two of them would sit there and they're like Persian looking cunts and they would just sit there and they would both arms folded. They wouldn't say anything. The, like the host would be like, hey, where are you guys from? Nothing. And they would say nothing. Just stone cold. And then you, so like, you couldn't get at me out of them. Yeah. The, a, a comedian would go up, he'd tell a joke, and like the crowd would laugh, and then they would do this kind of a thing where they go, like they would whisper, oh, yeah, yeah. and then the other person would go, <laughs> how, how long were they doing this? They shrugged their shoulders. But didn't you say then they would get out and they'd be like, that was the greatest show I've ever seen? I don't know, but that part, that's what we assume. But they came a few times, and then people go, because I remember being told, told twice, where like that person, those people in the front row, won't laugh. Won't laugh at that. And then there's been multiple clips That's of... so funny. There's been multiple clips of fucking... Uh, John Rodnitsky has a clip of him fighting them one time and then fighting them again two months later because they came back. Yeah, they this is like back. what they got off on. But he got the... He was going, you're fucking... 
hard right now. He goes, I know you guys are fucking with me. You're fucking loving this. You're trying to fuck with me. And then they started laughing. And he goes, I got you, you motherfucker. <laughs> that's great. That fucking yeah, incredible. Yeah, they to be like the center of attention. That yeah. is honestly hilarious that that's like their like night out. It's yeah. the most. Let's go. Yeah, let's go fuck with these comedians. I love it. Yeah. Former comedian yeah. couple. Yeah. <laughs> 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 their like, dreams didn't come true. <laughs> let's take pride in making sure none of yours come true. Imagine being a couple and going, what are we doing? Same thing we do every Friday. Yeah, night. we go down to McDougal and we, we did just a set of tiny bro. cover, yeah. Yeah. Um, scowl in the front row, <laughs> and we just ruined some person's it, life. It, uh, it came out this year at the Toronto Maple Leafs. There was this like these this dad and this daughter who were in the uh, at the, at the game or whatever, and they're wearing the opposing team's jerseys or whatever. And then someone found them, and so they literally hate. They live in Toronto, but they hate the Maple Leafs, so they have season tickets, and all they do. Is they go to every game and they wear the opposing team's jersey. That's, awesome. that's, sick. that's Yeah, hilarious. and everybody's like, why? They just have what? every jersey. Yeah, they have every literally every team. jersey. So they fa- someone went and found them every game and that's they have hilarious. every single jersey and they only root for the opposing team just because they hate the Leafs so much. That's so, so funny. Huh. Dude, I did a show. This was in, insane. But at the same time, you go. Well, and the guy spends 25. Go, like, yeah, like his tickets are 25. But at the same time, yeah, that's crazy. if they enjoy it. Yeah. As much as someone who loves the Maple Leafs, it's, sure, there's no, it's there's no real. It's, it's all just, retarded. Yeah, it's just if you go in and support them or you're against them, it's yeah, all yeah, fucking yeah. stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is insane. And and same it, thing to spend like twenty five, thirty. Yeah, grand those on. fucks at the um, McDougal. They got they, they showed up one day and then the manager goes, "You're not got, you guys aren't allowed to uh, sit in the front row anymore." Really? Yeah. Oh. And then they left and they never came back. Really? No. But I think what happened was they heard somewhere that someone must have said something like heckling isn't the worst thing you can do at a show. The worst thing you can do is go sit in the front row and then just fucking yeah, just like, shake your head the whole time. The dude, whole I time. did fucking Derek That's Thresher's shows to like like last year and it was like one of his it was like a, an anniversary of some sorts. So it was like downstairs at the stand and it was packed and there was this uh you know I mean De- all of Derek's friends are just fucking inmates. Yeah. So we're there. Derek Thresher is a criminal. <laughs> White though. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. And I was Sorry like to break down your racial I had a great folks. set. I had a great set like every, everyone's laughing and then there's just one dude front and center just like who not not laughing like looking like he wants to actually like rip my body oh, yeah. in half. And then he DM Derek after and he goes show was great white boy dumb though. White boy dumb though. <laughs> yeah. White boy dumb though. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not like that. White boy not dumb like that. Yeah. No, white boy's dumb though. He gets it. No. <laughs> He's probably just horny. <laughs> he dumb thick too. <laughs> white boys are dumb though. <laughs> yeah. Dumb though. Nothing worse than going to like an urban room and then realizing just how white and disgusting you are. Oh, dude, it's the worst. But I was in Everyone's Ontario. Up there, like, Everyone's just up there like jiving, doing an impression of yeah. a person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you know like, urban comics are like, bananas be like this. Yeah. And yeah. They, yeah. Go, they do be like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. And I go up going, so I'm on all the apps. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm it's on the all the dating apps. <laughs> Craigslist. Yeah. When I was but in Ontario, every I couldn't now and then the material. white guy discover a little shimmy that gets him by. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 When you kill oh. him, I'm like it. <laughs> I love a white guy that just finds a gimmick in a black room and he's like, I'm coming back every week, y'all. I love yeah. this validation. Yes. I love you for yeah. Yeah. Yes. When it's I was old. in Ontario, I started fucking smacking the mic against my knee. <laughs> I was like, I got to adapt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think about U-Haul? <laughs> 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 Y'all are really, 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 really foolishness. <laughs> but there's a, okay, what is a, uh, crushing? Urban rooms get their, oh, the, urban rooms get their, the, like, the thing for being rowdy. What is a, what is a rowdy white audience? I mean, Skankfest is a pretty rowdy white audience. Some yeah, shows are, that's right? The clan. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought the, the crowds here were going to be way more rowdy than they are. They're just regular crowds. Yeah. They just yeah. sit and listen. You know what, it, there's such podcast fans here too that yeah. they're, like, they're very like conditioned to be. Yeah, they like know how comedy works and like how. And then you know what? The, the, they're fine a, with being bored. There was a time. <laughs> there was a time too. There was a time too when like most podcasts were just about comedy. So then everyone was just complaining about like how bad you can be as an audience member. So yeah. all these people just have these rules in place where it's like you go in, you sit down, you laugh, you never, you never ask for a photo. Like they have all these. Yeah, old yeah, rules. they they know and they've listened to like just. But, they're, listen, of but they're, yeah, they also all want to be the one guy who like the comedians like that's my guy. That oh, guy's the guy who didn't ask you for a photo. Yeah, he's my yeah, favorite yeah. guy. I actually hate. I hate when people come up and go, "Hey man, I hate to be gay, but can I get a photo?" Oh, yeah. I'm like, no, be gay. 
let's be gay dude. yeah get, let's get a photo dude because i'm about to fucking overdose <laughs> and, <laughs> and i think there's fentanyl in this this is so. going on man new york right. news morning show don't let homophobia miss you from your picture <laughs> <laughs> the, the the astoria post is about to do an article with this photo <laughs> last known photo of column terrell local comedian you think it'll be a big deal in ireland if I die? <laughs> yeah. No. You don't think so? No. Don't unless get, unless like, it was like paper? cool. Unless it was really cool. Like a fucking car bomb. Like you die trying to like assassinate the president. <laughs> yeah, or you got hate yeah. crimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I got hate crimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, how naive. Oh. How naive. If I got hate crimes. <laughs> you think like if someone like, threw, like, uh, like if someone like shot you with a potato gun? Oh, that's like, would pretty that cool. make the news in Ireland, you think? What if someone shot you with a fucking foreskin <laughs> or something? A corn Colin gun. does not or fuck around about the potato like, shit. Like no, he does yeah. not think the potato is not funny. I'm not found, found a nerve. Yeah, we were, ho we were hosting our show together, and I tried to do potato stuff, and he got all fucking... Cut it out. The bathhouse, not, like, not like, funny. He's Cut like, it I out. hate this music, but That's I really do love potatoes. I do love you potatoes. Do you like gnocchi? Do you like gnocchi? That's it's like a, maybe yeah. the best like version of potatoes. No uh, way. Maybe not the best. But Calm down. Not even, not even, not even top off. five. Really? Oh, I'm not <laughs> even. Potato shit. Not even. All right, maybe not the best. There's like 20 variations of French fries. Yeah, I guess French fries. That's like a once a year. Oh, I love that shit. Potato fries? No. Maybe you don't want to take that back. No, you're fucking retarded. But I do love, it's one of my favorite foods. All right, all right, folks. Now we got I like it more than but it's hey, only hey, as good as hey, the sauce. Hey, guys, guys, I think this is perfect because now we always go to my favorite section. Yeah. Favorite potatoes. <laughs> Play the music. <laughs> Russet. Favorite potatoes? Mike. I might be eaten. His name is Eaten. And yeah. he's fat. So it's like. Uh, mashed. It's like he knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, oh, he'd be eaten. Mashed through a ricer. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, creamy mash can be good. That's not the best. Do you think that's, that's the your best? top? Oh, I thought you were talking mashed. about the types of potatoes. Yeah, what's your favorite type of potato? Russet. Uh, no, no, what no. What the no, hell? Like I don't know. Like the, the fucking finger, The way they <laughs> cook them. The way they cook them, you psycho. <laughs> yeah, there's so what, many ways. Are you at a McDonald's oh, drive through <laughs> asking what type yeah. of potatoes these that's were the, made with? That's the potatoes they make McDonald's fries These are indigenous from the Eastern region. And these Idaho? And these Idaho? Heirloom russet potatoes. I think it was some red turkey. It's got to be just the McDonald's French fries. Yeah. Got to be top potato. No way. Yeah. The top of the oh, No yeah, way. way. A McDonald's yeah, French fries. Yeah, maybe before fry. the Muslims ruined it. <laughs> oh Jeez, my no. God. The Muslims <laughs> showed up and fucked up McDonald's. They used to cook no them in animal fat. Yeah, beef yeah. tallow. Yeah. yeah, back in the day. <laughs> there's no way. Like, I live above a McDonald's. You don't even smell it anymore. Like, there's McDonald's doesn't even have a smell. Have you guys noticed this? Uh, yes, it yeah. does. No, it yeah. does. No, you have become accustomed to it. If you live above it, it's because you've become accustomed to it. McDonald's smells like a tranny's pussy. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is officially a Patreon <laughs> episode. <laughs> Downgraded to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, one of us had to say it. Uh, I love a new box, but come on. Uh, the trans pussies are fascinating. Right? Yeah, they, it's all thigh. They can put shit in there now, yeah, too. Yeah. What do you mean shit do, in do there? Explain? Like jingle bells and yeah. the texture platforms. It's like going to the custom shop in GTA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like fuck machines. Where they like can leave the, it on vibrate. The beads, the beads that like rotate in the fuck machine, like in a pocket pussy. Yeah. You can get that inserted. Yeah. Dude, you can oh, do yeah. anything. Uh, you could probably get a dick just Why not? You have to pussy. constantly dilate it, though. Otherwise, it closes up. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Who touched Sorry, it? Sorry, I'll touched be it leaving it in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make you sure you want to dilate this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why, how do they keep it dilated? With, like, a fucking... They got to like put stuff up there, otherwise yeah, it closes so up. They can't even say they have a headache. No, babe, I got to keep it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. 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 <laughs> fucking idiot. You can't say no. Medically. I don't think trans people are stingy with the pussy like that. That's a real woman problem. Well, boys are whores. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> True. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. So so we can, now we got to the main You got a chick that's down the fuck a lot. It's probably a dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you think it, do, you think, do you think it feels good for them? No. Men to get fucked in the pussy? Yeah. No. They, yeah, I yeah. Know. No, I don't Come on, you know how men screen. are. Yeah. Men are visual creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox is not plugged in. Yeah. Yeah. Played it, but yeah. it's not out there. Yeah. Yeah. Men, yeah. men come out their dick. You, they can't come in a fake pussy. Like I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's like nerves. So then there's probably they they're probably the prostate all, up. Uh, Asexual no, or some shit. Can they cut through like the no, gooch wall? Oh, 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 
Uh, fight, folks. We're all being offensive. <laughs> Stop, yeah. folks. You're I'm not being offensive. I'm not, asking the questions. Yeah, it's my questions. podcast. I'm allowed to say if you're being offensive. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Wait, this is your podcast? I own the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. All right, you're being offensive. <laughs> Nat- Hold on. Wait a second. <sighs> Natalie. You, you, okay, but Natalie. Yell. Natalie, you're a lesbian, right? That's close enough. Um, what, <laughs> do you, what do you... <laughs> trans people, do they come? <laughs> what? I think so. See, no one knows. No dude, one you can knows probably just look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah. Dude, does a trans man, <laughs> oh, dude, your a, a trans fucked. woman come <laughs> without a dick, and then she's been replaced with a pussy that's Ooh, open? I know they have to get laser hair imagine. removal on their cock when they flip it inside out. You know, I, I had a toot removed once. Because then they grow hair in their pussy. Yeah, I, I've heard I, about I that. had a toot removed once, and they put like a thing to keep the gap in the toot so yeah. that the new toot would show up. Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of what they're wearing in their pussy. crazy you call it a toot. What do you call it? Tooth. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as a couple of immigrants, I thought we were we were in this together. I, they can come. I thought we were pairing off. I thought we were pairing. They can come. I thought they we were pairing. What? They can come. <laughs> Tranny man. Yes. Dude, most the ads tra- you're about to start getting are going to be insane. The most transgender women can come. Or can't have an orgasm oh. through clitoral stimulation. Not real women. Not what? real women. And it says, your surgeon will use skin from your <laughs> penis to Sorry. create a clitoris. This clitoris still has feeling. Feeling. Yeah. I'm... Do you think it has a GPS tag on it? Too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, bitch. It probably. Feelings. I'm going I'm to say Nothing more than I'm gonna say that's feelings. Not. They're lying if they're. <laughs> but they take a little bit of your I, dick and then they're I, like, here's a clit and you can comfort them. Fuck no. I don't think we can trust a word. No, these trans I mean, we say. still come I after don't, having. I don't trust them to give me directions to the fucking bank. But think about it. Like, we probably. Can, they can come? If you're circumcised, you probably shouldn't be coming, but you still come if you're what? circumcised. Whoa, yeah. whoa! Sorry, my mom wanted me to have a pretty dick. Why don't I get to come? What are you Charlotte, talking about? If you think it's so pretty, that is true. Come. No, it's just cerked. It'd be much worse. Because they remove no, like all the good stuff. Right. Right. And you're un- uh, unnatural. You're dick. uncircumcised? Of course I am. What do you? So uh, do you I just feel bad when you come too fast? No. <laughs> Who feels bad when they come too fast? Me sometimes. I, I apologize to her, but I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah. not serious about it. Oh, there you go. It's like yeah. when you bump into someone and go, "Excuse yeah. me." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wrote on you. It's just a civilized society. <laughs> sorry, I just, do, I just, I just uh, two pumped and dumped you. Yeah, you know, sorry, you yeah. Last, like, I'm another... so sorry, baby. It's just yeah. you're so beautiful. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah that's the longest yeah. I've ever lasted, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but no. yeah, like I've heard that it's, you get a lot. There's a lot of more nerve endings in the uncircumcised thing. That's what I've heard. But, but with, with circumcised, with all that cut, still works, buddy. Yeah, mm-hmm. still works. So well, maybe like, uh, yeah. Apparently, what happens is your your bell end, ro- uh, your dickhead rubs against your fucking jeans, and then so it wears down the nerve endings. So then you guys can last longer. Nope. Six minutes, maybe. <laughs> they sure you can. That's what they no say. Huh? That's that, what they say. That's what they say. But I've also heard people go, <laughs> "No, my circumcised boyfriend comes very, very fast." I got a buddy who's who said that he didn't used to wear underwear, and his and his his dick is just calloused fully. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he doesn't yeah. enjoy That's sex at all. Oh. Yeah. That's just like <laughs> some, what a legend. Just like a, <laughs> he escaped. Just like the palm of a bricklayer. Yeah. Just <laughs> fucking yeah. cat like just. Are they warts? I promise you, they're not warts. <laughs> just been wearing nothing but jeans. <laughs> I've been yeah, sleeping in my Levi's. I wear Levi's. down there yeah. just so I can last longer. Yeah. Probably just like the rocks, palms. I'm going to go boxer's knuckle. Dude, your friend doesn't wear underwear at all? This was, he said he, this was when he was young. Oh. Uh, I, I went know. through some phases when I was young of trying to go without underwear. Yeah. Yeah, they came and went. Yeah, the best was dress pants, though. I used to sell life insurance. Some, <laughs> something about being in a business suit with no <laughs> underwear you were still underneath. A kid for this. I pictured a little kid selling life insurance. <laughs> hey, Mister, you're gonna die soon. Little kid in a dress suit, just walking around selling life insurance <laughs> in Philly. <laughs> they do welches in right, New York, right, but they right. do life insurance down there. <laughs> I gotta wear so underwear. You what? Did you ever like you? So what made you go back to underwear? Stain in my pants. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah, oh, you tried no one. No underwear with jeans is fucking insane. That's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. It's gotta be so. Un- Dude, some people like fucking love jeans though. Some people like sleep in jeans. But there are really some jeans. In. If you nah. break them in, good. Yeah, and mental. there's some jeans that are just the fabric is just really good. You know yeah. what I mean? Where you, you for sleeping? Rather, for anything. For anything. Uh, yeah, some you don't like blankets. What? Huh? You heard of blankets? <laughs> they make blankets just for soft. Oh, that's what you say. <laughs> yeah, 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 sleeping yeah. in jeans is like, like parents. No, no, it's literally for drifters. Like that's like what he you're... gets home at six o'clock. He's coming from the club. 
And <laughs> AM or PM? He, he, he's handy down. He's been drinking handy all night. He's wearing those jeans to bed. You know he's wearing those jeans. Uh, don't have time to we, got, we got all have your privileged little si- silk fucking That's bed sheets. That's a bad feeling, dude. Waking up nah, in bed dude. with your shoes yeah. on still. Oh, yeah, one sock and yeah. <laughs> one sock and jeans. Dude, uh, one time I went, when I was in college, I walked home. I, I got home at night, and my roommate was asleep, wearing a full suit, and he was, but he his feet were on the ground, and his torso was on the bed. <laughs> So he was just that like rules. standing, like one of those guys in New York City who fucking walks oh, around at a ninety right. degree oh, angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how he was asleep with his shoes Dude. on and like a tie and a suit. Just those homeless guys who have like fucking what, yeah. scoliosis or whatever. The ninety degree just, guys. Just walk around. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. like sneak up on you like a squirrel. They're on heroin. Those dudes who are just like walking like that. They're all. There like, are people on. Yeah. No, I those people on heroin guys. No, those people that just have. Have just have oh, bad they just are like, yeah, yeah, no, bad. dude, that's not from having a. Have you ever seen someone do that? That's not. No, homeless? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you're yeah. talking about. That's, that's not from a bad back. What? I said that's not from a bad back. Those guys, it's definitely from drugs or something. Yeah. yeah. No, there's people that are too poor to get their back fixed, so they're just like crippled up. So then they just fucking, they're all like crippled up, and they're like, look, you're. And from they just happen to also do heroin every day, yeah, all day. Yeah, to deal with the fucking back. <laughs> no. But no, no, some people just have born with that bad back, and then they go on TikTok and people crack it open and shit. Can we get a crippled out act out one more time, please? I'm telling you. <laughs> people, some people have the fucking curved back. Yeah. It's not I even know, a I, curve, I, dude. It's, it's like a, it's like a sh- full on 90 degree angle. Yeah. yeah, it's called shrimp back. Shrimp back. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp back? Yeah. But yes, I got a little bit of that. Up. You shrimp have the back? shrimpy yeah. back? Yeah. I just have bad posture. A lot of us have it, though, from yeah. like leaning over looking at the phone. At the phone yeah. yeah. Video oh, games. yeah, my neck is for sure. Yeah, man. Just nice nine, hour, nine hours of being disappointed that my stuff don't go viral. Yeah. <laughs> all, that's all I do all day going. <laughs> well, the shares are pretty good. It's a good ratio from likes and views. I guess a lot of, yeah. has <laughs> a lot of reach. It's still doing my like reach one to no, ten my, numbers. My reach numbers are big, but people just aren't clicking on it. But yeah. The reach is there. That's all, yeah, that's all you need. You need everything reach. doesn't go viral in the first 24 hours hours you know some stuff as far as i know nothing goes viral unless you're a guy on fucking a youtuber gets shot in the belly yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's the that's what it is now twitter you just that's gotta the be goal, dude, to get people dying oh, yeah. you. and then in the you crazy, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You twitter yeah. it's crazy you can tell how they're fucking with the algorithm oh yeah or whatever because like one day it'll be like all just fights and murders and then the next day it's all just like like literally like the most benign like someone's asking like these random questions and you're like they're they're obviously like every day trying to figure it out like what's the happy medium between murders and like yeah Yeah, that's the super lame thermostat (laughs) they got a thermostat on population how do you feel what's the temperature you gotta post a video of someone getting their head chopped off in (laughs) afghanistan and then a reaction video. Like, anyways, Whoa. I'm gonna be in Chicago this weekend. <laughs> you know, guy, guy get, the reporter gets his head chopped off. I know. And it's like, and then oh yeah. Like, and then there's just stitch, some dude in the bottom corner. Stitching coming. <laughs> stitching coming. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sure he was hung over the next day. You know? Hey, I'm on the road, folks. <laughs> you can catch me in anyways, Tacoma. Anyways, I'm gonna be in Tempe, Arizona, dude. coming up. Tuesday matinee in the Tacoma. <laughs> All of those videos are terrible. <laughs> The fucking the, the, it, they'll just be like a normal ass video. They'll they'll literally t- like take a clip from like Gillian Keeves and there's just like some Indian boy just in the top right corner, <laughs> yeah. just being like, oh, that's funny, oh, the, that's good, <laughs> right? And no <laughs> shit, those videos that have like hundred ninety three thousand yeah. views. Yeah. Oh, sure. This yeah. page has got eight million subscribers. Like, who the fuck is watching yeah. this guy? Yeah. Yeah. This? Ranan loves stuff. <laughs> he's, yeah. just, he's reacting to shit. <laughs> he's just watching someone else like Gordon Ramsay cooks a steak yeah. and he goes, whoo, yeah. Yeah. Good steak. There's, <laughs> There's not like even millions. any. It's literally just facial expressions. It's just them being like, yeah. Isn't the biggest yeah. TikToker that kid, uh, that black kid or whatever? Yeah. And he's like, all he just does these. He's like, he oh, just, the African guy. Yeah. African guy. He's, oh, like, the, he's guy. the biggest guy on TikTok. He has like 160 yeah. million. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, like for like eight year olds or something. And. We're, we're I think it, his stuff is so dumb that it's like it doesn't need a language. Yeah. So like yeah. someone does like a, a trick and then he comes up and goes. I mean, he has like four different facial expressions. Yeah. I like those other podcast ones, but 
like half of the screen is oh, a yeah. video game that has yeah. nothing to do with the conversation at all. Oh, there's just a car racing <laughs> terribly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love that. That's always GTA. Those are so funny. Yeah. Put as much shit on the screen as possible. Yeah. 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 Give me some sort of a speech. Trick the algorithm. Give me some sort of a speech about achieving your goals or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Someone plays Mario it is. Kart. It'll be like a, it's like a David Goggins. It's like a David Goggins clip of him being oh, yeah. like a piece of shit. Yeah, and, and then, then the background it's, it's like Roblox. Yeah. It's just kind of Crash Bandicoot. I actually tried to make one clip like that where <laughs> but instead of video games, it was like just uh, NHL highlights, and then I got like a copyright claim instantly. <laughs> <laughs> the NHL was like, "Yeah, you can't use our, our fucking like Yarmir Jagger video." So that Yager. was, the end, of, that was the end of that. One of my favorite fucking clips that I saw that went viral recently was that when these guys making fun of those people that you know they zoom in. Uh, on you know those Google Google Map zoom in people oh yeah, yeah, yeah. geo what's geo that called geo, geo no it's yeah. the guy who's like yeah. it's the guy who's like you say here's a photo and he tells yeah here's you where a you photo are. and he goes Ecuador yeah. it, whatever yeah but the guy autism yeah the guy was just like make it yeah and the, the guy was just making a parody of that and the first one was just like. Yeah, yeah, Czech Republic, whatever. It's like oh, close, whatever. And the next one was like just like, like it just like a, a glory hole in the gay bar. <laughs> he's just like he's like O'Rourke's Pennsylvania. <laughs> 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 That's and then hilarious. The next, one, the next one was like Peru or whatever. He's like pass. And then there's like another gay bar. He's just immediately. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> he just knows all the glory holes everywhere. <laughs> Fuck it. So how how does that guy do? Is he he's lying, right? Like the, like the, the, the geo the geo no, tag guy. So no, I, I got so. one of my friends does that, and he's like he he's a geo tag guy. Yeah, and he can get like he I wa he does it. On, he posts them on YouTube, but they're like it, it'll be like some random fucking city in like Switzerland, and he'll get it, and it'll be like within fifty feet of where the photo oh, was wow. taken. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just little things. Well, yeah. there's all these little clues like trees. It's roads, all yeah. Like do, you know what, do, you know what, do you know what my equivalent of geo tagging is? When I'm in a city and I want to find prostitutes, yeah. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll go on YouTube and I'll go streetwalker prostitutes city, and then someone will have a video of them walking down, <laughs> and then I pause it and I find the address and then I type it into the, <laughs> and then I find myself there. It's a major solution. Just hanging out, just hanging out, yeah. just seeing what's up. Look at. But that's, that, that's my version of geotagging. I watch a five minute video and go, what's the name? What's that called? Sean's tools. <laughs> Sean's hardware. Right. Yeah. I just went. I was just in system. LA. There's a there's a street in LA where like prostitution is like legal. It's the most wildest thing. Is prostitution legal here, right? Yes. Yeah. It's just or not. They no, it's not, not in the strip club. <laughs> no, it's not. not. It's not got legal. signs no. in the strip club that say prostitution is illegal. It's not if you're broke. No. Huh? It's, yeah, it's, they will. No, here it's no, like very it's regulated. They have posted. They just have signs yeah, posted. Yeah, yeah. It's like you have to go to specific places. Weed outside too. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. It's like jaywalking or whatever. Yeah, but but it's like fifteen hundred bucks. But it is legal in Reno as far as I know yeah yeah no, so the, the, there's according part, to there's, my geotagging yeah. 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 according to the go, YouTube oh, yeah, yeah. dude but walk to your hotel Reno? at 3am they will find you dude I was in the Give first thing we at the Golden Nugget like the casino at like 2 in the morning and I was like I was probably approached by 5 prostitutes of course really yeah, yeah you're a mark dude they yeah, see I you look like a mark I actually I, kind of felt bad about it it sucks so bad because you think like maybe they like me uh, no, <laughs> that did not cross my mind. No, I, I walked home last night what? and they were they were, they were sitting right out on the corridor back to my room and they're like, "How you doing, baby?" And yeah, I, exactly. I, 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 go, I go, I lost everything. <laughs> That's all I said. It's like random women don't ask me how I'm doing. Yeah. Like, yeah, right? like random, how, that's how no. the world works. Random big titted black chicks. Yeah, exactly. like, how you doing, baby? Exactly. Oh, I'm a white boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I must be her type. Yeah, <laughs> drunk guy with a shriveled dick. Yeah. <laughs> they love that. <laughs> Absolutely. I would, I would just be scared of getting fucking set up. Yeah, going back to the room and there's just a fucking big ass. They dude do. They tell you one you. price and then you yeah. get up there and it's two or three times that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. hey, that's crazy. That's, I read that out. They're like, oh, I read more dollars. I read that online too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's crazy. That's <laughs> 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 right. When you go prostitute shopping, you got to dress down. Really? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. That we're like in late in night, and they look at angle. you like, okay, I can get this guy for like forty bucks and a dick suck. You know what I mean? Man, but, I should do that. Yeah, don't don't wear your watch. Down from this. <laughs> 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 I'm just wearing Target right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. You look pretty wealthy to me, man. Oh, you know, no. like, rich people like to downplay it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. What white boy got a hat on? Expendable <laughs> <laughs> income, right? <laughs> Let's nah. go. <laughs> that, that's what you want? <laughs> no, I'm poor. That's crazy. I, no, here's what we do is I go, my retarded friend needs a hand job. Put that, I think I could get you like a free little hand, like a retarded friend hand job thing. I want to touch it. 
Yeah. All right, <laughs> Skankfest. Skankfest is great. Any any highlights so far? Did anyone enjoy anything? Did we? The stand <sighs> shows are good. Yeah, the yeah. stand shows yeah. I did today. I did was that this awesome, morning and it was fucking awesome. It yeah. is. I would say it's so weird waking up. You were the drunkest guy last night, by the way. Yeah. You were the most drunkest man of all time. It was yeah. the most fun. It's all right. No, and, it was great. Uh, it was great. You were fucking yeah. the sloppiest drunk I've ever seen. I had to but take some a time way. off. Yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. But uh, I, it is weird. You go here and everyone's like, dude, everyone's going to get so fucking destroyed. And then you actually get fucked up and everyone's like, someone's got to fucking get, yeah, take care of that right. guy. Yeah, you're right. That guy's Gosh, a problem. You haven't lived through the skankfest. And you're going, shots? No. Oh, oh, easy. <laughs> the girl that books Zane is here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> she might give you Tuesday and Zanies. <laughs> you gotta act better. I'm not laughing. <laughs> uh, well. Sash is inviting the hand that feeds him. Oh, yeah. On a podcast. I would like to Even if it Zanies. is on the Patreon, Zanies is great. Sass it's a great walked, club. It's a great club. Sass walked right up to every agent and manager last night and goes, Yo, suck my N word dick. <laughs> he goes, Suck my N word dick. La, 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 la. And then we we're like, that's the future, dude. It's <laughs> future. Future comedy. You got to do it. You got to yeah, do it. The stand room is nice, though. It's yeah, like the it's only like real, it's like a real room. Yeah, it's Dave like Tempo, have you done that and good? What are you uh, a lot of podcasts was dope. Uh, the strip club was dope. I didn't get to see any fighting yet. I usually like watching the fighting. Oh, yeah, that was today. But that was <laughs> they, they changed the laws or something. So yeah. yeah. I think it was like no, karate, karate or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's all body shots. They were like all body folded. Ah, uh, see, I, yeah. It's I body the shots, old... and, but they're also covered in protection. Yeah, but they're blindfolded and they're just kicking the shit. Like Dude, literally the, kicking each yeah, other. Yeah, but no, but they have they have yeah, padding yeah, on yeah. The, the legs. Yeah, I still mm. think they got it. Yeah, last year they hurt That each one other. guy got fucking mauled. Did I think one guy him? got kicked in the face. There right, was this right one started. bald guy who's like a fan who shows up every year, and he's—I think they call him the Terminator or whatever. <laughs> but he's terrible at fighting, and he just gets beaten to the ground. But he will never stay down. He oh, will good for never, him. And we're all just good screaming, for him. Stay down! There's no one. And he's just getting up and going, no, 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 And then they kick him, and he goes down again. And like, like he's terrible. He's the worst guy. I mean, but he would not stop. He was not stopping. Francis Adams like just the gas. It was like almost like rope a dope, but it wasn't intentional. That's yeah. awesome. He was like, you can kick me all day, but I'm getting up. And I'm not. A, <laughs> it's I'm like not Michael a, Myers. Yeah, absolutely. I just watched Halloween before coming here. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, you, it's you a good movie. It today? Yeah, it's a marathon. All of them are on TV. <laughs> It's a weird thing to know during Skankfest. Good for you, though, man. Good Dude, for I you. had to get. I couldn't. Squeeze I couldn't in a do little the bit of TV time <laughs> during the weekend. I get it, man. Yeah. I had to. I couldn't <laughs> fucking sit here all day again. So I threw on yeah. some Halloween. Started yeah. with two, which kind of threw me off because I never seen one. Mm. Yeah. And you're but, just watching it on like TBS. Yeah. Yeah, the, I don't think those are the yeah. full versions. That's just what you got. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's like, I think they're edited. Yeah, they have a lot more, more. Oh, the tits. highlight, the highlight reel. That's, well, the TBS version bad. is like they they edited them down. Did you know? I actually heard a thing recently where Seinfeld, because of commercials, is like it plays at uh, fuck. I can't remember what it is, but it's either like they play it at like five percent faster, really, than it used to be, so that they can <laughs> add for commercials because the commercial blocks are longer now than they were when it was. That's on. crazy. <laughs> but it's like it's like you, it's, you can't really notice it. <laughs> but you can't notice you it as you play them side, yeah. side by side. But like it's literally Seinfeld is like, or it's like three percent faster. Yeah, that's crazy. I love the idea. Speed. There you go. 7.5% faster. I love the idea of Seinfeld like in double speed, but it's like just monotonous bullshit. Where it's like, <laughs> he goes, you don't get two blessings. You bless, you, you seize once, you get one blessing. I'll give you two thousand. It's like, give me, give me, give me. That's yeah, a Kramer's fucking, probably that's a fucking genius. That, that through probably the door now. Made, <laughs> dude, that probably made like Larry David a hundred million dollars when they did that. Oh yeah, yeah. That was like probably yeah. hundred. Like if it was his oh, idea, well, they're goes, both billionaires. Yeah, yeah. But, but if he was, what? yeah, yeah, like. Larry David is definitely a billionaire because of the deal, but it was like he will get paid 150 million for the next 10 years. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. So he you signed know, a billion you dollar know that deal. Did Steve Bannon? No. You know, you know he's like guy? he worked for Trump and he's like this crazy like right wing dude. Like the hardcore. lawyer guy? Uh, no, he's uh not a lawyer guy. He's like a, he has like a show and he was like he was the guy with the Cambridge Channel. Anyways, he owns like 2% or something of Seinfeld. Oh yeah, and yeah. Now he's probably dude. The guys are fall. Oh, you know, he has got tons of money, but like everybody hates him. Dude, I, I met the guy who fucking produced uh, Everyone Loves Raymond. That guy's just like banked. Yeah. He's just like richer than anyone you'd ever imagine. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's had one part percentage of one show. Right. Yeah, that's all it is. Like whoever fucking produced Scrubs. 
Just some guy sitting yeah. there. Just apparently, the guy who did Power Rangers is like the most insanely rich dude because he just bought uh, Power Rangers, but it was already all filmed. And because you don't see their faces or whatever, so it was a Japanese show. But he owns the entire thing, and then he bought it, and then so he just hired people to like do the voices in English. But he owns the whole thing. Like he yeah. owns it like top to bottom. Like it's not even like he owns oh, a slice. He yeah, owns yeah, the yeah. whole thing. Also, he's he's apparently like. No one really calls him on it, but some people do. That he just stole Japanese culture yeah, 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 and oh, brought sure. it to well, California he just saw, yeah, kids. He just, apparently, he was out like a like a oh, toy. playing a flute until a robot comes out of the ocean. Like That's Japanese <laughs> culture, is it? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> my costume is not your culture, all right, folks. <laughs> yeah. Don't play flute until he, a he big, like, huge white robot. He was like at a toy convention in like the eight, late eighties, and he just like saw, or maybe early nineties, he just like saw it and like he had the idea. Yeah, but all of his shows are like that. Yeah, yeah, it's right, like heavy I Japanese Israel, culture. Uh, not, not to de defame my people, but I think he's an Israeli guy. Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> right? Life of. is all about margins. When a Jew becomes rich, just <laughs> Nas Impressive. <laughs> it's like a black guy dunking. Boo. White guy dunks. Yeah. <laughs> it's underdog. <laughs> underdog. Underdog story. Yes. So, yeah. so that was the highlight of your... Um, oh, shit. Here he is. Uh, that was the highlight of your uh, skankfest. Uh, the Power Rangers thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the question, and that was what you. That's what <laughs> this you is the highlight, with. obviously. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Do you yeah. have any anything else you want to? Me? Are you, are you pointing? Who are you pointing at? The, the glasses guy. make it hard. <laughs> the gla like we've been dealing with this for a while. You got like this. You got, you got anything else? Yeah, like, yeah. Are you pointing but, at me. Uh, pointing behind us. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. It's, it's, it's too Wonder fun. pointing and it rules. I've been having a good time. <laughs> well, you, Mike, Mike Eaton. Uh, I had a hot dog at Give Dirt me your social. Dog. Give me your socials. The guy Mike the social. Eaton. Uh, at Dirt Dog. Right Good dog. They, they put brisket uh, and queso. Your highlights food? Yeah. <laughs> I my mean, God. On brand. Yeah. Oh, my God. The comedy is fine. Comedy's Brandon great. Schaub at Stand Up on the Spot. So funny. Was that great? It was great. I don't hate Shab. I'm, uh, I, I feel like I'm the only one. I didn't one talk to him. He's fucking massive. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's not as big. I expected him to be fucking. I thought he was going to be bigger I than that. Was, I thought he was, he was like 6'5". Dude, he's huge. No, he looks like mind, a fucking yeah, NFL linebacker. Yeah. He's massive. Really? And now, in dude, my, I saw. I didn't even. I didn't even know it was him. He was in the Sam green room. And I was like, "Holy yeah, shit!" Sam Hyde's like, why is security no. here? No, I don't Sam think so. Bigger Sam Hyde's a big guy. Sam I don't Hyde think looks he's, like a weaponized. Maybe I've only, seen, I've only seen rules. him sitting down. But I was like, "Oh, or maybe UFC, they're similar sizes or whatever." UFC, but it's all. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was going to a fucking big, giant, big guy. Dude, arm wrestle him. Like he looks like he can play in the NFL. Like, yeah, I don't think Sam Hyde does. Wasn't he a backup, whatever, some shit in the NFL? I don't know. No, and listen, hey, we love we love Brendan Schaub. We hate the um, uh, the anti Brendan Schaub hate <laughs> oh. on the internet. <laughs> Think it's fucked up, you know. And sure, he might have fingered some girls against their will or whatever. But hey, it's comedy, folks. Mm. We all we all gotta just learn what you <laughs> can. <laughs> hey, no, it's a music, it's a comedy festival. This is definitely going on the Patreon. You got this is the Patreon, folks. You, Which is a bummer because there's nothing worse than doing someone's podcast and they go. Just so you know, this is on my Patreon. And you go, well, Ugh. to be honest, the free episodes versus the Patreon, it's like an extra five views. Oh. So it's oh, not okay. like it's not like when you do someone's important podcast. So five really? You only get this. five more views on your free podcast? Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> find that I was, I was very <laughs> soon. That was a very literal <laughs> accounting number. <laughs> <laughs> what are you investing in the company? No. I don't believe No, I just don't find that hard. He's to cooking believe. the books. He's cooking the bucks. All right, folks. My my favorite thing about Skankfest is, you know, it's just getting together and having fun yeah. with one of each of the people. You know? <laughs> we got a Jew. We got a black guy. We got a little dick Jew. You're and Jewish? we got a fat yeah. white one. Uh, I know. And then uh, there's me, the Irish, Irish legend. Irish so, obviously, legend. give your socials again to the folks. It's on Patreon. There'll be about 204 people watching this. <laughs> No, this good, this is a freebie. Me. This is going out for free. Yeah. You, I'm, you think I'm going to box this off for the fucking... <laughs> pay all this bad for boy? For the dopes to pay money? <laughs> nah, this is a freebie all day. Oh, my God. Check out Mike Eaton. Mike Eaton hey, is the best. Mike is Eaton. Yeah. Danny right. jokes. And else? And we said it at the beginning. You think people missed the beginning? You got yeah, yeah, they you got tuned in halfway through. <laughs> you got it's live. You got to so put it on shut up and then go get, get a snack. Oh, right, 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 right. You got to double dip. You got to double dip with yeah. the socials. I just want they you guys, up I want to you guys to feel the Kali T bump. Okay. Uh, hell yeah. I felt it. I can't. Right. I felt it. We can wrap it up? Yeah. No, no, no. Just another 20 minutes. No. I mean, we're out. We're out of now. I want to go drink. Peace. Bye. Hooray.